Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. So this is going to be Scorpio Sun Moon and, and uh, Rising Weekly Tower Reading for April 29th to uh, May 5th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the cards and we can go straight to the spread. Oops. Okay, so uh, the first card, which is uh, marking the Scorpio's topic of the week, that is going to be the uh, King of Cups, followed by the second card, which is the challenges that Scorpio needs to overcome for throughout the week, that is going to be the um, <clears throat> Justice card. Third one, it is the uh, positive, the positivity of the week, or rather, like you know, your uh, your intentions, Scorpio your goals, aims, and so on and so forth, the positive aspect in general for the week. And the last card that we do have, this is going to be the Guidance of Tarot, and that will be the Wheel of Fortune. So as the Wheel of Fortune came up, now everything made sense. Uh, we Scorpios are about to receive a, a very tempting offer throughout this week from this person here, which is the King of Cups. Ne not necessarily a man, but it could be a, um, it could be as well a female, all right. But the thing with the King of Cups is that they are very balanced, very experienced, and uh, how can I place it? Very calm people. They they don't get excited very uh, very much, and if the offer comes around from them, that means that this offer it is towards you because you either deserve it or because this person finds you capable, you know, or rather like it finds you valuable for their deeds, because that could be a... Um, <clears throat> business proposition you know it could be as well a proposition for a for a for a, a relationship and i will talk about into that aspect a little bit more here because the king of cups they don't kind of like reveal their emotions uh they they rather look they, they rather look in the world um within the world as they have a, a poker face all right like they are senseless but they are capable of um deep contentment and as well of deep feelings and they however are discovering or rather like uh, unveiling their feelings only toward those whom they think it's worth unveiling those feelings so if that is in an approach from someone or in generally if you Scorpio this week you hear the words I love you well that is true I mean you should not kind of like um, uh, what was the word here guys um being skeptical toward those words, thinking that they had that the, the, that person is lying to you by telling those words. Additionally to that, the King of uh, Cups here points that uh, you also may receive a very valuable help. Additionally to the um, to the tempting offer that may come uh, your way. But on the grand scheme of thing, when, uh, things, when we do have the, queen, the King of Cups in a general position, it means that this week you're going to make a, a very well-found and balanced decision in regards to your life as well. The accompanied card that is going to be the Page of Pentacles, and I, with, uh, with this combo, that, that is a um, 
passive support, passive friends, excuse me, uh, combo, I do believe that it leans more toward the offer, all right? So that is going to be a week where someone is going to offer you something that has a, a long-term prospect, a, a long-term unfoldment, and also is going to be very profitable, either emotionally-wise or either uh, material-wise. In other words, it could be a lucrative business offer or it could be a proposal for a, a long lasting relationship the thing with these cards scorpio is that you have to very carefully think how devoted you can be toward this offer because the offer itself it will require a lot of um a lot of your time in a sense of that is going to consume you or it should consume you uh, otherwise it's not going to be lucrative or it's not going to be happy so if someone approaches you and tells you do you want to be with me you know uh, do you think that we can make a relationship and you say yes then that means that you should completely devote yourself into that if you decide to say yes all right or if you start a new business endeavors with or with that person then you have to a hundred percent devote to those a uh, business endeavors otherwise they are not going to be as lucrative as they can be now the challenges here however that is the justice card a little bit awkward card as uh, such a follow-up guys because justice points that law uh, and order are going to be in place and that will be the challenge all right so that the things could be a little bit more chaotic than you're liking or the way i see it is that you may not feel very comfortable abandoning a, a certain positions of comfort or because this uh, this proposition endeavor or a helping hand it could place you a little bit more off your comfort zone <clears throat> and additionally to that with uh, the justice it does look like that it's going to come as a heavy addition what i mean is that you're going to have yet many things to work over right and yet this thing comes around that either proposition or a helping hand comes around and adds in additional responsibilities on top of the current responsibilities you do have and the uh the challenge here is going to be how you are to fit all that into your uh, daily routine the accompanied card that is going to be the uh king of swords <clears throat> The combo is active supporters and only confirms here the idea that you may have it difficult to analyze how exactly to do all that, to do everything that is coming in your way throughout the week. So even if the first couple of cards are rather passive cards, it does look like that your week is going to be quite dynamic. Now, very important here is to know that analysis of your endeavors and enterprises is revealing the way out of difficulty. So if you are facing a wall, if you are facing a certain predicament applied stop for a moment and just think about how is the best way you can tackle with the damn thing additionally to that um <clears throat> you may not, you may not find the um the same amount of respect and as well appreciation from people that you are usually used to see and that is due to the fact because it's going to be challenging for you to earn it for a reason being is that most of your decision and most of your actions that you are to do throughout this week are going to be uh, made in a, such a way that they're going to be accountable toward yourself all right rather than toward others and one more thing i want to say about these couple of cards as a challenge is that you may find it difficult to discern the situation all right uh, that being said uh, once again is going to benefit you a lot if uh, as soon as you see something uh, vaguely or kind of like you, as soon as you see something that presents itself vague to you is to stop for a moment and try to analyze it as best as you can because like i said analysis is going to reveal the way for you and uh, that will be your strength the uh, ace of swords it is the positivity throughout the week for you scorpio so the ace of swords here points is that you will have no problem should you stop for a second and think about it to truly find the accurate diagnosis upon the situation this card points that you're going to be very strong in spirit therefore it is very unlikely that you're going to fall into a, a state of desperation a state of poignancy you know or a state of despondency that is additionally to that it does look like that you are also going to be prone to do some brave actions here actions that are surpassing your expectations and through those actions it is likely that you're going to force a new progress in your life 
the accompanied card that is going to be the high priestess and uh, the combo here it is a uh, active neutrals so we don't talk about a uh, intuition here intuition has nothing to do with it by, by the way with these cards is most likely that you have already find your personal answers toward the situation are you go are you want to gonna be with someone or do you want to start a certain job and so on and so forth the uh, question here it is how you are to execute excuse me how you are to execute your ideas and how you are to proceed on forward with your improvement and that uh, procedure of pushing forward does not reside with doing things based on your emotions and based on your intuition it does reside on doing things based on your strategies analytic mind and strength of spirit uh, <clears throat> these couple of cards here as a positivity are very very strong they give you very huge surge of, of momentum and uh, it is likely that as soon as you receive that very tempting offer which by the way with these cards and additionally to the last one that it is the guidance it is exactly what you needed all right so you may find yourself in a very difficult place at the start of the week but this offer comes around and actually gives you everything you you needed in order to improve your circumstances and that will make you feel quite unstoppable it's going to make you feel quite unreachable as well and uh you can with with the, with this personal self confidence or rather like self confidence you know yeah personal self confidence uh push on forward to a such greater height uh the last card that we do have for you scorpio this is going to be the wheel of fortune that is the guidance and as a guidance this card points that the offer or the help that comes around it is um nothing else but once in a lifetime opportunity additionally to that the will of fortune points that throughout the help and throughout this uh, well-found decisions that you're going to do or and uh, throughout uh, this tempting offer that comes around from this person uh, king of cups you are to stir a lot of enterprises and situations in your life that heretofore have remaining um are remaining stuck you can stir your relationship life, you can stir your uh, your career life, and so on and so forth. The Wheel of Fortune does also point that you can change your life for a, a tremendous better times. Additionally to that, we do have the full card, and definitely we're talking that about a new beginning that is going to come out after you know you take the proposition or the hand or the helping hand this is going to be the result of all that all right it's not going to be something that happens throughout the week but it's going to give you the option to choose your new beginning moving forward into the future and you will have to do it very uh, detached fashion meaning that you should not care much about how big predicaments you're going to face towards your goal you know or how serious uh, the circumstances are going to be or rather like you know the the responsibilities are going to be as as long as you're moving towards your goal but rather you should focus on your goal itself and um, you should take that opportunity that comes to you this week that is the guidance of the card with pure and sincere heart guys because it is given with pure and sincere heart there is no surreptitious intentions behind it. There is no nefarious intentions as well behind it. They, that opportunity, that help, that tempting offer, it is given to you because you deserved it and it is yours to take it. And you will have to take it. We, Scorpios, have to take it. So that being said, Scorpio, this was your weekly tarot reading uh, for April 29th to May 5th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and we're going to see each other uh, around. Until then, bye.